Hello Golf Pass, Martin Hall coming to you from the beautiful Palm Beach Par 3 and I want to talk about slicing. Actually I don't, I want to talk about stopping slicing. Look, when you slice the golf ball there is a high probability that you're swinging too much out to in and the face is a bit open and you know there's a loop in the hand path and, and you might well know that but it's not so easy to stop. So I've got a drill and I've got a bit of technology that can point you pretty quickly in the correct direction. Look, the drill is this. I'm not saying that the only thing in slicing is an out to in path, but if a lot of your balls start, for me as a right-hander, way off to the left and curve excessively to the right, and some of them just go woefully straight left, you are almost certainly an out to in player. Now I've put a club on the ground. And when I'm trying to fix the path, I call this the lay it on the line drill. I've got a club on the ground about there, it's about parallel to my target line. I want to go to the top of my swing and I literally want to make a swing where from my position, from my viewpoint, that looks like I've laid that club right on top of that line. Right on top of that line. Lay it on the line. That's going to give me a hand path that comes down fairly, initially fairly straight, not a big outward hand path. And that's a great drill to just stand on the range, hit golf balls, drill it, drill it, and then maybe hit one. Technology takes it even farther than that though. The DWIZ product, which is on my left wrist, it can do so many things. One of them, measuring the arc of your lead wrist in transition. Now I've set this device that if I actually make a loop on purpose, if I go in, and I go out, we'll have a visual with the avatar, and yours truly is going to get an electric impulse shot up his lead arm. It's only very mild, so don't worry. It's a learning stimuli, you might call it. But let me hit a bad one for you and show you what we can learn and then what we can do about it. Technology, so helpful. Here we go. Plus 5.1. Now you can see on the avatar here how my hands went up in one path, they came down in another path. My hands drifted five inches in that direction from where they went up to where they come down. Bad, bad, and more bad shots are following from that. So I'm going to see what DeWiz can tell me now, what my hand path is going to be. Hopefully I won't get another electric jolt like I did with that one. As I change directions there and that hand path went out, I just got a little in motion reminder of eek, just a, a gentle little nudge that yes, I did that wrong. Ooh. Now I'm going to try and do a better job this time. I'm going to try and swing up. I'm going to try and lay it on the line. And let's see if DeWiz likes that. Let's see if the technology directs me in a better direction. Here we go. Minus 1.7. So that downswing path, and you will see the avatar, is completely different. That downswing path, I did it on purpose. My hand path actually came down 1.7 inches behind. So I had a little bit of an inside loop. It's quicker than video, it's faster than video, it's more valuable than video. Instant feedback is the way to improve for all of us. So if you really want to get the best out of your game, you owe it to yourself to look at the words. It's helped me, it's helped lots of other students. Lay it on the line, have that hand path come straight down, and you will be on your way to stopping your slice.